um, better life choices. <laughs>
do that. <laughs> Money has always been very tight. Um, most of the time I either didn't have insurance or my insurance wasn't that great. Um, but I decided, you know, I have way too many little things that are bug bugging me. I need a family doctor that I can talk to about everything that I'm going through. So, for the first time in my entire life, I went for a regular checkup where I wasn't sick. <laughs> So at this regular checkup, I got to meet the doctor and I immediately got a good feeling about this guy. He was very straightforward, very direct, which I appreciate. Um, and I explained to him all the different things that I've been experiencing for the last two years that have been really bugging me. I'm constantly exhausted. I have no energy ever, ever, ever. I sleep for eight hours a day and I still feel exhausted. I've gained an extremely large amount of weight, like a huge amount of weight. I am now 242, 242 pounds, and that is up, uh, I've been gaining that for the last three years. So three years ago, around this time, I was at 184. That is a lot of weight <laughs> to gain. Um, I'm always feeling nauseous, I'm always feeling just dragged down, and at 34, I should not be feeling this way. Um, on top of that, I mentioned the whole atrial fibrillation to him, I mentioned my concerns about taking a beta blocker, and uh, he agreed with me. So that made me feel pretty good. <laughs> um, so I explained all of this to him, and uh, the anxiety about the, the whole separation and everything, going through the anxiety and stress that I'm going through with that, plus just your regular everyday stressors. Um, that's been adding to everything. <laughs> um, and so overall my quality of life has been very low. So he just kind of, he jots everything down, he scooches his chair a little bit closer and he hands me this piece of paper. And it says, Weight loss, healthy living, patient information. He's, he's got like this weird accent. I don't know if it's like Western European or British. It, it was hard to detect, but he has a bit of an accent. And he goes, I want you to take your smartphone and I want you to download this. <sighs> my fitness pal. Um, I've downloaded this before. I didn't keep on my phone for a very long time and I don't honestly remember why. Oh, I remember why. Because I was going on the no carb diet and my fitness pal doesn't really count carbs for you. Anyway, so he said, I want you to go to my fitness pal. And this is going to be your calorie intake every day 1200 calories. And as soon as I looked at it, I go, 1200? He goes, You need to lose weight. Do you want to lose weight? I was like, well, yeah, like, yeah, I think that would help a lot. He's like, 1,200 calories. <laughs> okay. And he explained that in my job, uh, my actual job, I sit at a desk for nine hours a day. And I don't exercise after work, which I haven't, you know, I have no exercise in my day whatsoever. I might take the stairs occasionally if I'm feeling froggy, but that's kind of it. I get no activity other than walking to and from my car. And he's like, with that low of activity level, you don't need that many calories. You're not using them. So 1200 calories a day it is. And I was like, well, I have hypoglycemia. Won't that make me crash? And he's like, not if you're doing four meals a day. I was like, oh, well, you got me there. I immediately was like, I'm not gonna be able to do this. I immediately started doubting myself and just knowing what I know about calories and like how the standards like 2000, I just felt like, oh my gosh, this is like a starvation diet. So I was very skeptical at first. Um, but he explained that with significant weight gain, it causes sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is when you're sleeping, but you're not getting decent enough sleep, so you're kind of wasting your time. And you feel exhausted all the time. Ding, 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 ding. He's like, do you snore? And I said, well, yeah, I snore. He's like, 
and you have atrial fibrillation, don't you? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, yeah, they're all interlinked. It's all linked. Sleep apnea is caused by significant weight gain, along with other factors, but that's one of the main ones. And sleep apnea triggers atrial fibrillation, which makes sense because the only two times I've ever had it were when I was extremely heavy and it was in the middle of the night while I was sleeping. So he's like, if we can get your weight under control, I guarantee that you can come off of that beta blocker. If we can get you to lose weight and get to your goal weight quicker, then you would also stop suffering from the sleep apnea and you'll be able to feel more rested and you'll have more energy. And I was like, oh. And he said, but we're gonna monitor it closely so if you do lose the weight and none of these things do get resolved, then we can look deeper. But he's, he's very confident that this is the cause of my problem. And honestly, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, with the amount of weight that I am carrying, it is a lot for my body to carry around. Um, you know, and it, it's just, it's always been something I've focused on, but I've gone about it the wrong way. <laughs> you know, I've been, I tried, and you'll see on my page that I have quite a few videos where I'm like, oh, I'm cutting out sugar, and that's just not the way to go. And for good measure, my doctor also went ahead and uh, sent me to get blood work done to make sure that my thyroid is working optimally. Uh, and there's no like diabetic concerns, anything of that nature. So he is checking all things, but this was one of the big things that he suggested that I take care of, and I agree with him. So I was super skeptical about this whole 1200 calories. I was like, man, I'm not gonna be able to do this. There's no way. Well, instead of doing the whole, I'm gonna eat my weight in calories for one last show and then, then I'll hunker down and tighten up and all that stuff. I just went straight into it. So when I left the doctor office, I came home and I was like, okay, 1200 calories a day. Let me see what I got. Let me just see what's in the pantry. So I just kind of went for it, you know? I uh, started plugging it away into my phone and sure enough, you guys, I did it. Okay. I went over by two calories, but I did it. The first day, I did it. <laughs> um, turns out it wasn't as hard as I thought. Um, I'm actually kind of shocked and amazed, uh, but I feel more than anything else, I just feel kind of empowered. Um, so, uh, just to kind of give you a rundown of what I had today, in case you're kind of wondering, for my breakfast, I ingested 450 calories. Um, not great, but also not bad. Turns out one of my favorite frozen pizzas is not that bad as far as calories. Um, the California Kitchen frozen pizza for the margarita toppings, uh, that is only 132 calories for a third of the pizza, uh, which is all I ate because I didn't finish the full pizza last night, so I had the leftovers. Um, and then for dinner, I had some soup uh, and a grilled cheese sandwich. Soup and a grilled cheese sandwich. Tomato soup and a grilled cheese sandwich. Only 330 calories. Not bad. For my snack, I had one of those Oscar Mayer Naturals meat and cheese plates. Uh, and those are also not too bad. So. I ate plenty and I feel full. I feel like I ate plenty of food today and I still remained at my goal of 1200 calories. So I don't know guys, I'm feeling pretty optimistic about this. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's a good feeling because I feel like this whole time I've been wanting to lose weight and everything, but I've had no direction and I've no, I had no knowledge on how to accomplish the goal. As far as like activity and working out, I'm not going to do anything yet. I want to get this whole heart medication sorted out first. So I'm going to call my cardiologist and see if he can see me again, see what alternatives we have and see if he can 
kind of play with the idea of not using medication to treat this condition. Um, and if he's not open to that, I'm going to go to a different cardiologist. <laughs> So I'm not going to be working out just because at, at this very moment I don't really feel like it's safe. Plus I kind of want to get used to this 1200 calories a day first. Um, you know, I'm going to give it a couple of weeks, see how I feel, and then if I still, if I feel kind of up to it, I might do some light yoga or something to that effect. Nothing too strenuous. The doctor also is recommending that I get a sleep study done to make sure that I do in fact have sleep apnea. So that's going to be on the radar here in the near future. And he's also going to set me up with a therapist because he thinks it would help greatly in my current situation with whole separation and all the anxiety that I'm feeling being in the house, you know, with my husband that I may be leaving it's a very odd situation. <laughs> so um, I do feel a great amount of anxiety just being in the same home with him um, and I'm trying to sort through that. Um, but the doctor thinks it'd be best if I talk to a counselor about that or a therapist and I think he's right. So um, he really covered all bases and obviously we will see if there's anything weird with the blood work. He will let me know um, about that and I have a follow-up appointment scheduled with him next month. So hopefully things are gonna start looking up as far as my health is concerned and I'll start having more energy to do the things that I love like YouTube and hanging out with my kids and you know, hobbies that I used to love and going out. I'm gonna try to go out this weekend. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> uh, goth night is on Friday so thinking about heading out there and mingling and getting to know some people and putting myself back out there so that should be fun um anyway so yeah that's kind of where i'm at that's what's happening how are you doing you doing good yeah i hope you're doing good i really hope so um anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this um i will keep you guys posted on all the progress and things that are happening um and Hopefully we'll see some improvements and good things come of this. I can't see why it would go bad. I really don't. Anyway, I hope you guys are subscribed. If not, go ahead and do that now. Make sure you hit the notification bell because otherwise you're going to miss some of my cool videos. I do normally post twice a week. So, you know, you don't want to miss like anything. Like you might miss something. Anyway, uh, and if you like this video, hit the like button. I really appreciate that too. Without further ado, you guys are amazing, you are gorgeous, and if anyone tells you anything different, they can suck it. Mwah.